Hi there, Aries. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at December 7th through December 13th. So we're well and truly on our way to 2016, and we're getting there but slowly but surely. This, the year is winding down. And this week we play host to the last new moon of the year, and that is going to be in Sagittarius, your fellow fire sign, your ninth house of spirituality, overseas travel, higher education. This is one of those times when you could feel like booking a ticket. Maybe you've got a lover or a best friend or your parents or siblings or cousins or someone you used to work with overseas. And all of a sudden you think, I want to go overseas and have the holidays there. And you can still get, believe it or not, good fares to travel overseas. Things aren't what they used to be where you had to book six months in advance. You know, they do have last minute flights. So if that's something that takes your fancy, it's a good idea to get on that this week. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, is moving into Capricorn this week where he stays through the end of the year. Now for you, this is going to be your 10th house of career and social ambition and, you know, just climbing that corporate ladder. And it's a good time to ask for whatever it is you want. Say, for example, you're looking for a pay rise, a promotion, a bonus even. This is the time to sit with the powers that be, whether that's your business partner or your boss or with yourself if you own your own business and work out how you can get more money. I often feel that, you know, people's wages don't keep up with the rate of inflation and especially here in the US where the minimum wage is like $7.75 and it has been for quite some time. And how people are expected to live on that, I'm not quite sure. Because when you think that you work 10 hours, it's like $77. You know, like how does that work? And then you get taxed on that. So it really is time for, um, you know, an overall cosmic look at the way people are paid and how people uh, in the one percenters, as they call them, basically have most of the money and everybody else is just trying to get through, working for the one percenters and making them rich. So I think there is some sort of movement heading our way where there has to be a bit more of um, everybody gets a slice of the pie, not a crumb. And I think as we go into 2016, we're going to be thinking about this a lot. It's going to be a very spiritual year because it makes up the number nine. And nine, of course, is the spiritual house in astrology. I'm going to be telling you more about 2016 once I have finished my 2016 outlook, which I am almost done. And once I have, I'm going to be giving you a short synopsis on what you can expect, Aries. But one of the great things for you is that in September, uh, Jupiter, the biggest planet in the zodiac, is moving into Libra, your relationship zone. So you are going to really find that it's not what you know, but who you know. But that seems like a long way in the distance. This week, focus on that new moon in Sagittarius and anything that's lingering over you, it's a good chance to, to repair it and get it out of the way so you can enjoy the holidays. Have a great week and I'll speak to you again next week.